In the world of relationships, a bond can be a beautiful and powerful thing. However, hidden beneath the surface, some relationships may hold a dark secret, trauma bonding. Breaking free from the invisible chains of trauma bonding can be a daunting task, as the signs may not always be obvious. But fear not, for this video will unveil the hidden signs of trauma bonding and guide you toward liberation and healing. Disclaimer slash disclosure, Style and Spirit, styleandspirit.com. In these relationships, the victim becomes emotionally attached to their abuser, creating a toxic and manipulative connection that is difficult to escape. The abuser uses tactics such as gaslighting, control, and intermittent reinforcement to keep their victim trapped in a cycle of abuse. Unmasking the signs of trauma bonding is the first step in shedding light on this destructive dynamic. By understanding the psychological mechanisms that underpin trauma bonding, individuals can begin to break free and reclaim their autonomy. This video will provide insights into the warning signs, effects, and ways to protect yourself from the clutches of trauma bonding. It's time to recognize the signs, empower yourself, and embark on a journey toward healthy and fulfilling relationships. Trauma bonding is a complex psychological phenomenon that occurs in abusive relationships. It is a form of Stockholm Syndrome, where victims develop an intense emotional bond with their abuser. This bond is created through a cycle of abuse and intermittent reinforcement, which makes the victim dependent on the abuser for validation and approval. The abuser manipulates the victim's emotions, often using tactics such as gaslighting, intimidation, and control. The victim begins to question their own reality, feeling a mix of fear, love, and loyalty towards the abuser. This creates a powerful psychological connection, making it incredibly difficult for the victim to break free from the cycle of abuse. Recognizing the signs of trauma bonding is crucial in order to break free from its grip. Here are some common signs and symptoms to look out for. Intense emotional attachment, victims of trauma bonding often feel a strong emotional attachment to their abuser, even if they are aware of the abuse. This attachment can be confusing and conflicting, as the victim may experience love and fear simultaneously. Cognitive dissonance, victims may experience cognitive dissonance, where they hold contradictory beliefs about their abuser and the relationship. They may rationalize the abuser's behavior or blame themselves for the abuse, further strengthening the trauma bond. Isolation, abusers often isolate their victims from friends, family, and support networks. This isolation makes it harder for the victim to seek help or gain perspective on their situation, reinforcing the trauma bond. Low self-esteem, victims of trauma bonding often have low self-esteem and a distorted self-image. The abuser's manipulation and control tactics erode their sense of self-worth, making it difficult for them to break free from the cycle of abuse. Fear of the abuser, victims may live in constant fear of their abuser, fearing the consequences of leaving or speaking out against the abuse. This fear can keep them trapped in the trauma bond, even when they want to escape. Understanding the cycle of trauma bonding is essential in breaking free from its grip. The cycle typically consists of three phases, idealization, devaluation, and hoovering. Idealization, in the idealization phase, the abuser showers the victim with attention, love, and affection. They create an illusion of a perfect relationship, making the victim feel valued and cherished. This phase serves to create a powerful bond and attachment to the abuser. Devaluation, once the trauma bond is established, the abuser begins to devalue the victim. They may belittle, criticize, or emotionally abuse the victim, causing them to question their self-worth. This phase is designed to break down the victim's self-esteem and reinforce their dependence on the abuser. Hoovering, after the devaluation phase, the abuser may engage in hoovering, which involves rekindling the idealization phase. They may apologize, promise change, or show temporary kindness to manipulate the victim into staying. This intermittent reinforcement keeps the trauma bond intact and makes it harder for the victim to break free. Trauma bonding can have severe psychological consequences for the victim. Here are some of the common psychological impacts. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, Victims of trauma bonding may develop symptoms of PTSD, such as flashbacks, nightmares, and hypervigilance. The constant fear and abuse experienced in the relationship can leave lasting psychological scars. Depression and anxiety, the emotional turmoil and manipulation involved in trauma bonding often lead to depression and anxiety. Victims may feel trapped, 
hopeless and constantly on edge. Emotional numbness, trauma bonding can cause emotional numbness as a defense mechanism. Victims may disconnect from their emotions to cope with the abuse, further isolating themselves from their true feelings and desires. Self-doubt and self-blame, victims of trauma bonding often blame themselves for the abuse, leading to self-doubt and a distorted sense of self. They may question their own judgment and worthiness of love and respect. Difficulty trusting others, the betrayal and manipulation experienced in trauma bonding can make it challenging for victims to trust others. They may carry the fear of being hurt or manipulated into future relationships, hindering their ability to form healthy connections. Trauma bonding affects the victim and has implications for future relationships. Here's how trauma bonding can impact relationships. Repetition of patterns, victims of trauma bonding may unknowingly seek out similar abusive dynamics in future relationships. Without awareness and healing, they may become trapped in a cycle of abuse. Difficulty establishing boundaries, trauma bonding can make it challenging for victims to establish healthy boundaries. They may struggle to recognize and assert their needs, leading to further vulnerability in relationships. Fear of intimacy, the fear and betrayal experienced in trauma bonding can create a fear of intimacy. Victims may struggle to trust others and open themselves up emotionally, fearing that they will be hurt again. Codependency, trauma bonding often leads to codependent relationships, where the victim becomes excessively reliant on their partner for validation and approval. This dependency can be detrimental to the individual's well-being and autonomy. Lack of trust, victims of trauma bonding may find it difficult to trust others, including potential partners. The trauma bond can create a deep-rooted skepticism and fear of being hurt or manipulated again. The idealization phase. In the beginning, the abuser often presents themselves as charming, attentive, and loving. They shower the victim with affection, compliments, and gifts, creating an illusion of a perfect relationship. This phase is known as the idealization phase, where the victim feels adored and cherished. They become attached to the intense positive emotions and develop a deep bond with their abuser. The devaluation phase. As time goes on, the abuser's true colors start to emerge. They become critical, controlling, and manipulative. The devaluation phase begins, and the victim's self-esteem starts to crumble. The abuser uses tactics such as gaslighting, where they distort the victim's perception of reality and make them doubt their own sanity. They may also employ control mechanisms, isolating the victim from friends and family, making them dependent on the abuser for validation and support. The Intermittent Reinforcement One of the most powerful mechanisms in trauma bonding is intermittent reinforcement. This occurs when the abuser alternates between moments of love and affection and episodes of abuse and neglect. The victim becomes trapped in a cycle of hope and despair, desperately seeking the affection they once received during the idealization phase. This inconsistency creates a powerful psychological bond, as the victim clings to the hope that the abuser will return to their loving and caring self. Emotional Dependency One of the hallmark signs of trauma bonding is emotional dependency. The victim becomes reliant on their abuser for validation, self-worth, and a sense of identity. They may feel unable to make decisions without their abuser's approval and constantly seek their validation. This emotional dependency reinforces the bond, making it difficult for the victim to break free from the toxic relationship. Rationalizing and minimizing abuse. Victims of trauma bonding often find themselves rationalizing and minimizing the abuse they endure. They may make excuses for their abuser's behavior, blaming themselves for the abuse or believing that their abuser is acting out of love. This cognitive dissonance allows the victim to maintain the illusion that the relationship is salvageable, further strengthening the trauma bond. Isolation from support systems. Abusers often isolate their victims from friends and family, making it harder for them to seek help or escape the abusive relationship. The abuser may manipulate the victim into believing that no one else cares for them or that they are the only ones who truly understand their needs. This isolation further deepens the trauma bond as the victim becomes more reliant on the abuser for emotional support. Educate yourself. The first step in breaking free from trauma bonding is to educate yourself about the dynamics of abusive relationships and trauma bonding. Understanding the psychological mechanisms at play can help you gain clarity and recognize the signs of trauma bonding in your own relationship. Read books, attend support groups, 
or seek therapy to gain knowledge and insight into your situation. Reach out for support. Breaking free from trauma bonding is not an easy journey to undertake alone. Contact trusted friends, family members, or professionals who can provide support and guidance. Surround yourself with a strong support system that believes in your ability to break free and heal. Therapy or counseling can also be invaluable in helping you navigate the complex emotions and challenges that come with leaving an abusive relationship. Set boundaries and prioritize self-care. As you begin to break free from trauma bonding, it is essential to set boundaries and prioritize self-care. Establish clear boundaries with your abuser and communicate your needs assertively. Practice self-care activities that nurture your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy, practice mindfulness, and prioritize your own needs. Breaking free from trauma bonding is a courageous and empowering journey. By unmasking the hidden signs of trauma bonding and understanding the psychological mechanisms at play, individuals can begin the process of healing and reclaiming their autonomy. Recognizing the signs of trauma bonding is the first step toward liberation. Emotional dependency, rationalizing abuse, and isolation from support systems are key indicators of trauma bonding. By acknowledging these signs, individuals can start to take the necessary steps to break free. Education, reaching out for support, and setting boundaries are crucial in the journey of breaking free from trauma bonding. Surrounding yourself with a strong support system and prioritizing self-care will aid in healing and building healthy relationships in the future. Remember, you are not alone. There is hope for a brighter future. Breaking free from trauma bonding is possible, and with each step you take towards healing, you are reclaiming your power and creating a path toward a life filled with love, respect, and genuine connection.